Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now today's topic, we are going to talk about something that we don't really think about every day, right? We just use it and we don't think about it, but it's actually very important and it's very uh, important not only to us, but it's important to all animals and to all life on earth and that is paper. Now we know that paper, it comes from trees, right? So we're gonna quickly learn how to make paper in a very basic or fundamental way, an easy way. So paper basics, like one, two, three, A, B, C, we're gonna learn about paper. So you may not realize it, you may not know it, right? You don't think about it, right? Realize it's to know, but paper is very important. I think you realize that. Just think about how much we use. Paper makes up one third of our trash. So our trash, let's say we have all of our garbage, right? We have paper, we have plastic, we have wood, uh, candy, food, all of our uh, garbage. One third or 3 of it, right? One dash three. So 33% of it is made up or is from paper, right? It makes up 33%, the paper. Factories make 2.7 billion kilograms of paper every year. Billion is nine zeros, right? So zero, 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 zero is nine of them. Every year, workers take peeled tree fiber so tree fiber is the main part of the tree, right? The fiber is, is like, it looks like string, like little strings, and they peel it. So they peel it like we peel an uh, apple or we peel an orange. They peel the tree fibers and boil it in hot water into a sludgy pulp. It's like a sticky jelly, like a pulp, right? There's lots of big pieces and it's liquid or like water. Next, the pulp, the chunky, you know, milkshake looking thing is poured into on a fine mesh. Mesh is like when we want to drink tea, right? We have a little mesh here and when we pour the tea, the water goes here, but the tea is trapped here, right? It stops the leaves and it stops the tea leaves. So that's what a mesh does. A mesh is when we pour something, only the water comes out and all the you know, big pieces stay here to dry. Once dried, the pulp is flattened. We make it flat like this, flat by hot rollers. So again, rollers are something when we make pizza, right? We make it, we roll it and then it makes it very flat like this into thin paper. So this is thick paper, it's very, very thick but this is very thin like this, we can't see it. It's finally the fun, crisp, not flexible, clean paper that we know. All right, we have three review questions here. A, paper blank one third of our trash. So again, we talked about our garbage, all the food, paper, wood, plastics, uh, trash, and 33% or one third, one third, is from paper. It is make, paper makes up one third of our trash. So we can say that water makes up, you know, two thirds of our earth, right? So make up is, it means how much is, how big is it, right? How big is it? B, factories make 2.7 blank, kilograms of paper every year. So we want to use that word that has nine zeros. Millions has six zeros, but billions, if you change it to a B, then it is nine zeros. So it's 2.7000009 times. C, workers boil blank into a sludgy pulp. So boil means to put it in hot water, right? Over 100 degrees Celsius, then the water will boil. And we want to turn something into this little jelly, right? So what do we put in the water? Well, we have to put the tree in there, right? Do we put the tree leaves? 
No, do we put the roots? No, we put the fiber. The fiber is the main part of the tree. Right? We put the tree fiber, we peel it like a you know, like an orange or like an apple, if you remember, and then we put it into the water. All right, A, we have three grammar questions. The pulp, pulp is talking about the chunky pieces of wood and fibers and water all mixed together. It's very, very thick, right? Is blank onto a fine mesh to dry. So what we want to do here is talk about, you know, how we do something, right? So we want to talk about it in the past tense. So not later in the future, not now, but in the past. How do we do it? So this word here, pouring, is when we have water and then we pour it into a cup. We are pouring into a cup, right? This is pouring. So which word here is the past tense? The, from before, we say it is poured. Right? Pour is what we you know, do all the time. Pouring is what we are doing now, right? Pour is what we did before. B, the pulp is flattened blank hot rollers into thin paper. So what we want to use here, this is what we call a passive sentence, right? So we can say like this, the mouse eats the cheese, right? The mouse is eating the cheese or we can say the cheese is eaten by the mouse, right? We're saying the same thing. The mouse is eating the cheese, but when we turn it around, the cheese is eaten by the mouse. That is what we call a passive sentence. So we want, when we use a passive sentence, we have to use by. Right? So we can say cheese was eaten by the mouse. The, the dog was walked by the robot. The pulp was flattened by the hot rollers and the homework was done by you, right? Or by me. C. It's finally the fun, crisp, clean paper we blank and love. So the subject here is we. So we, like you and I, us, it's not one person, it's many, many people, right? And when we have a plural subject, we never put the S or we never change the verb. We keep it as the original. We know, right? We give you another hint here. It says no and love, right? The love, there's no S. It's just love. It's not loving or loved or loves. It's just regular love and no. Because we have we, when we have many people like we, we don't put the S. We just keep the regular verb. All right? So next time when you're doing the homework or your homework at home and you're writing on paper, I want you to really think, you know, what kind of a tree was boiled to make this paper that you're using. All right, thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. My name's Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.